But um, let's uh, let's start with Ti, man. Ti and his son, they got into a little. Uh, I guess Ti put him in a headlock. I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play the video for the people. It's a few minutes long. Then let's talk about this. Right. King, have you, have you ever woke up with a roach on your face? Here, no, that's not the ghost. All right, then. Here, go. Or in your ear. I don't know what you're or talking about. I got in the neighborhood with me that have roach, you ever a roach up with a roach in your ear. Y'all want to go to the y'all want to go to the bando in my neighborhood? Do y'all want to go to the bando? Do y'all want to go to the bando? To make him look better, he said he know not true. Silver spoon. I ain't never ate with that day a day in my life. Hey, you did I'm have a little school. Look, we used to have to come to my grandma's house because I'm getting in the you fight. You act like a baby to go to your grandma's house. Every day. You used to hold your I don't want to be in these gates. I want to be outside in the neighborhood. That's why I want to be over there. But they don't understand that. Yo, I'm going to tell you the reason why you want to be over there. Y'all ready? Because... He can suck and pacify over there. He no. was 12 years old. Go he pacify. was sucking pacify since he was 12 years old. He couldn't do that in the house. You cried like a baby. Hold his breath. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 They try to say I was over there trying to suck a passy, but they ain't gonna tell you everything. Like they, they, yeah, they trying yeah, to hide it. Ain't nobody hiding it. He capping. He capping. He know I stand on business. He know that. Hey, no nigga ever pulled my car ever in life. I stand on business. You, you drop me somewhere, I stand on business. You, you drop me in reverse, your hood, man. I stand on business. Yeah. I've been stood on business. I've been stood on business. You want to hide it for the world, I'm going to put it out there for them to see. I, I want to put up nowhere. You ain't had me put up nowhere. Like, I ain't. You ain't had me behind a mansion. I was outside doing what I wanted to do. You was behind the mansion. You cried. No. I ain't got too much to drink. I got drunk too much. Drunk too much. Let's go. I'm gonna get mad because we say the South ain't the suburbs. Then he want to talk about some other Like this being sick. This being sick. No, I'm being real. You lying. You lying. You over here flagging. You're capping. You 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 capping. I know. I know. I know you. You capping. I know you. I know you. I know you. Shut up. Shut up. I know you. Ain't no mystery about here. I know you though. I know you though. I know you though. I know you. What's wrong with y'all? Why y'all doing that to me? Y'all know me. You know I stand on business. You know I stand on business. Why you even letting somebody play with me like that? Why you let somebody play with me like that? Why you let him play with me like that? Why you let him play with me like that? No, ain't no joking. Ain't no joking. What do you mean? You are embarrassing yourself. You are embarrassing yourself. You are embarrassing yourself. You are embarrassing yourself. Man, what is she talking about? Man, get off me, nigga. 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 Man, you can't do nothing with me. Ain't shit you can do with me. Man, that's, that's, that's hilarious. <laughs> oh, Damn. Man. What do you think, man? You know, the ending is, the reason why it's funny is because we both dads. And right. You know, at, at at some point, your, your son always kind of muscle up and think he can have you, and it don't matter how old you are, your dad will always be able to whip your ass. That's right. the first part. But now, on a serious note, you know what's crazy is when you look at this kid, and obviously he got some type of issue when it comes to how he's accepted, whether it be how he's accepted with his family, how he's accepted out here and, and with, amongst his peers, whatever the case may be. And when you look at T.I., and we've kind of watched it since its exception, since his journey, you know what I'm saying, coming in as a rubber band man while at the Taliban and shit, and knowing who he was and who he built himself up to be. And at the end of the day, we all achieve and strive to be better to put our kids in situations that we weren't in, so they aren't in the same situations we were. Right. So he puts them in these situations. Unfortunately, sometimes that shit comes at a cost. Because you build children with a sense of entitlement. Yeah. A, a spoiled child, a, a child that thinks they can't be told anything. And what you achieve to do, you end up turning into a monster. And, that, and that's what ultimately looks like ended up happening. Um, like I said, there's some issues there. Obviously, he probably got some harboring issues with his parents and whatever the case may be. And that's shit that we don't even know because we weren't there. But right. this kid, man, that's embarrassing. It's sad. And unfortunately, it looks like he's on a path of 
having to learn some very hard lesson and unnecessary lessons yeah. in order for him to wake up. From, I, was just from getting, what like. I, I was just getting ready to get into that. Like he he needs to get his ass drugged through the mud. Mm. Like you want to be hood, you want to be a thug. You sitting there talking about bandos and all this. Like your parents went through all that, so you ain't have to go through that. So you got to understand that you're never going to be a street thug. And if you ever try to go out there with those type of people, you'll be eaten alive in those streets because you're not street smart. You don't know how to move in these streets like that. And use it be those dudes that be wanting to be into that shit that be getting swallowed up. Like the dudes that they, they grew up in and then they know how to navigate yep. shit. They straight. Yep. But it be them dudes that want to be out there. Like, you nigga, you ain't supposed to be out there. You fool. Right. You fool. And then people mm-hmm. know it. And people like, this nigga ain't from around here like that. <laughs> you know? So it, it, I don't want to call him corny. But he kind of corny. Yeah. He a corny youngster. And that's T.I.'s son, so it's respect there and all that. But, you know, and then create, they say create the monster. Now you buffing up, going at your parents and shit? Like, you capping, you lying, this, that, and the third. Like, he just got punched in his mouth right then and there. Yeah, he got a body shot right over his ribs. Yeah, like, what? Like, it's, it's a way. Like, I don't care how old I get or how old you get. You're not going to talk to me a certain way. I'm Word. swinging on you. Word. So T.I., he did it, you know. Put him in a headlock. He did it the right way. I'm sure T.I. would probably punch him in his face if they was in the house. Oh, yeah. You know, so, um, yeah, entitled, spoiled little brat is going to learn the hard way. You should be privileged. You should be happy that you didn't have to go with your father and your mother went through. Your father went through a lot of situations where he could have been dead or in jail on many occasions. You ain't never got to go through that. So why try to put yourself in that situation? Yeah. Why? And you, you and that's yo kids are so different because I, I I know they got a couple children, and Ti's oldest son that's a cool motherfucker right there. I don't know if you yeah. check him out playing the guitar and instruments. Oh and yeah, chilling. that's a cool dude. This gremlin real, ass nigga, like, like, huh? <laughs> this gremlin ass nigga, this dude, <laughs> <Ain't> not, <laughs> nah. goddamn monster man. I'm like, that. <laughs> but um, yeah man, I feel bad for Ti. <laughs> Duckling duck ass nigga, <laughs> <thing. laughs> he the outcast ass, man. Like, yeah, like, <laughs> Yeah, he's definitely the black sheep. But, uh, <laughs> black white sheep. Hell yeah. But nah, man, I mean, you see him, he's his mom and his dad. Like, uh-huh. he running his mouth like his dad. And probably like his mom running his mouth. And, yeah. you know, um, he need to get punched in his mouth, in my opinion. Yeah, he so, need a rib broken too. two. So. Yeah, but, I, you know, ultimately, hopefully they can. Um, I don't want to see this kid learn the hard way because he's still neither. a youngster. I don't want to see somebody. You know, I just don't want to see that. That's all. I don't want to see that. And T.I. doing a lot of good shit right now. And right. You, and you see, y'all, y'all in a very public eye. You in Atlanta for crying out loud. You know cameras is on. Like, yeah. You know all eyes are on y'all, especially at a stadium like that. So it's embarrassing, man. And, and you, Disrespect. You, it's yeah. like, yo, your dad just performed for the Atlanta Falcons. Right. You need to get slapped upside You're your head. You telling me cap and he lying, I know you. Like, what, nigga? Like, yeah. What? You don't do that out here. <laughs> right. All right I, I'm, I know you. Like, what? Turn your fucking cameras off. Like, <laughs> I'm lighting him up. <laughs> Anyway. Shout out to T.I. though. Shout out to T.I. 